playing with T-Rex, I think, in, in here, the Coronation. Yard. Just tell me a little bit what's been going on in your life since. Well, we've had a, a gig with Snake Davis and the Suspicions in here as well. Um, so I played four tracks with them and organised that concert. And what, what was that like to be able to play with, you know, like a, a band like... Well, it, it was really amazing. Snake Davis, yeah. well known, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good opportunity, but it was really fun and all the band were nice. Somebody told me you actually organised that gig. Is that right? Yeah, I do, yeah. Do all the promotion and booking and everything. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, but I love it, so it's no bother. I love doing it. And what does it feel? I mean, when you, you get up on that stage, you're there with a big international name, and you look out there and a lot of the people are local. What, what does that feel like for you? It's quite surreal, really, to think that mm. I'm on there with someone that's so famous and well-known playing with them, but it's a really good feeling. <laughs> We saw you jamming with Snake. Do you have to sort of build that relationship or is it almost like spontaneous? Well, I'd had the, I'd had the, been given the CD of it beforehand, so I'd been listening and playing along. But when I get on stage, you just kind of forget and kind of play what comes um, rather than thinking about notes all the time. But you've got Snake but when, next to you. Yeah, and, and that just, really helps. Like We kind yeah. of bounce off each other. And yeah, but then he hands it over to you. When someone that big hands over their band to go and play with you, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. How much time do you get to, you know, see your family, or how much are your family involved in, in well, your? In yeah, your, my family your... are really, really involved and so helpful. I mean, my dad especially drives me everywhere and encourages me and supports me and my mum holds the fort back at home and she, she's always looking out for what I can do next and helping me out. I so what be able to would, you know, given the opportunity, Jess, what message would you like to send to them? Thank you. <laughs> Is that all? No. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be able to do it without them and the, I wouldn't be doing this today or Snake Davis last month, it wouldn't have happened without them. So How really fortunate do you feel yourself? Really, yeah. really fortunate. Really lucky. I mean, um, there's, there's hard work, but then mm. there's, there's meeting the right people and, and that as well. But you're learning all along. You work, you're learning you know, by what you're doing, going to college, you're learning on playing with big names. How important is it to you to, to pass it on? Do you pass it on to younger people yourself? That, that, you know, your skills, your knowledge, do you pass that on? Teaching? Yeah. Yeah, I, I teach one person that has Down syndrome once a week yeah. to play saxophone, yeah. So that must be quite rewarding. How, re how rewarding is it for, to be able to do that too? Yeah. Once it, you've got to that, is it, is it, just tell me about that. It's, it's really nice to be able to, I mean, I started when I was seven and I got, and I was ta taught from that young age. Um, but it's really nice to be able to pass on some of the stuff that I've learned. I mean, I've got so much more to learn, but some of the stuff I've learned, it's really nice to be able to pass it on to someone else. 